The flood in the fall was the first time in the 30 years I've been in Colorado that we've had a flood in the, in the fall. So it was very unusual. The unusual part also was that it was a huge rainstorm. It rained and rained. We had a front that just stayed here over the area. So the ground got completely saturated. Reservoirs filled up. And then, it, of course, with our canyon upstream, uh, it filled the canyon and it all came down this direction. We have about 20,000 students that come out from four different school districts here in northern Colorado. The flood impacted some of them. One classroom, every student had an impact either directly or one of their relatives or one of their friends. This is one of the first spots along the Poudre River that the water can actually come out of the canyon, out of the river banks. And so this area was 65 acres, about uh, 55 of it was flooded. This was our trail that led down to the river and uh, to the steps, this is no longer here. So this whole area was covered with a sheet of flood water. So a lot of reclamation needs to take place right here. To the west here in the grassy areas, we try to emulate what the prairie is like. To the north of the building, we have a wetlands area when the river had carved out those areas. The wetland area is working great. Uh, the plant life that's there and the wildlife, that, the animals that it's brought in has just been phenomenal. And then to the north of that, we have a man-made reservoir that was quarried out, uh, lined with a bentonite wall to maintain the water inside. There's nowhere else like this in northern Colorado. My girls come out here once a year with school, so they've got to come out and do the tour and see the habitats of the animals out here, and so I thought it was important for us to come out here and kind of give back to the community and clean up after the floods. This is the first time we've ever volunteered. I actually came across Volunteers of Colorado through a website and saw that they were needing volunteers to come out and clean up today, and I thought it would be a great opportunity to bring the girls out and just show them how important it is to help in the community. Well, I'm a member of AmeriCorps NCCC. That's the National Civilian Community Corps. We're working with volunteers for Outdoor Colorado. Within our work with VOC, we've seen a lot of the areas that have been damaged by the flood. And in this area in particular, we've just seen a lot of the noxious weeds come that were brought by the flooding. And um, we're just here to help kind of clear some of those. It's really been awesome just to see the people in the community come out to really um, invest in this area. I'm going to be attending the Clinton School for Public Service for graduate school, so in 10 years, I hope to be a leader in my community and doing work that really matters. We've had uh, five floods in 10 years in this location on a 100-year floodplain. So I would suspect that uh, the floods will get worse as we urbanize this area will be less places for the water to flow. And I think it's our job as a community to look and say, let's not just try to contain the river, build higher levees, but let's try to live with the river and how a, a prairie river moves.